So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you my weighted calisthenics workout, how I warm up, what weights I'm using, how I prep and how I adapt a workout so you guys can use it in this video. So the one thing you will notice is that I am doing kettlebell press. This is in replacement of a weighted dip, which I would normally be doing, but somehow I've tweaked my chest. So I've adapted the workout. So this is the first time I've done kettlebell pressing for a long time. So pardon the form, but I'm adding it in so I can still follow the rules of my push-pull full uh, legs, full body workout. So what I'm doing at the minute is I'm going from pull-ups into kettlebell press straight into weighted lunges and we're following that process. One is a giant set, then I rest five minutes at the end. We are doing a three by three workout today and I alternate between doing that and a three by five workout and I alternate between the two. Today, like I said, it goes pull-up, press, lunge, then I rest five minutes and go into it. At the minute, I'm doing kind of the body weight warm up when it comes into my pull-ups. And then it's obviously, it's a lighter weight to get my body used to it when it comes to the lunges and the kettlebell press. Again, I would normally do a weighted dip. So the first is, this is a pull-up. The first set was a body weight chin-up and this is a body weight pull-up. I'm gonna be alternating between doing pull-ups and chin-ups because I wanna get the benefits of both and I enjoy doing both. So I'm alternating between this. This is my second warm-up set. This is gonna be a same weight again of 20 kilos for the kettlebell press. Again, I haven't kettlebell pressed for a very long time so I'm trying to get back into it. So it's just 20 kilos here and it was body weight ones for the pull-up and the chin-up because what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to prep my body. I'm trying to get through and warm up with the form. I'm trying to practice it so when it comes to my work sets, I can do better. So it's just body weight at the minute and it's gonna be the kettlebell press. I've got the bandages on my arm because the kettlebell press I've got, is so obviously my form is bruising up my arm. The lunges here, I'm gonna be doing these here. The reason why I'm wearing trainers, I do not recommend wearing trainers, especially running trainers, but I've been doing a lot of running recently because my partner is training for a marathon. So I have been running with her and obviously I've been doing too much running from going zero to hero and doing all this different running that it's kind of hurt my foot a little bit. So I'm now doing my first warm up set with some weight. This is only a 12 kilo plate. Again, we're alternating back to the chin up and I'm only doing say two reps here because I've got the form down. All it is is just prepping my body, letting my central nervous system know what weight I'm playing with. Now this is a 24 kilo kettlebell and I'm just warming up the body for the weight. And I'm with the kettlebell because it's the first time I've done it in a long time. I don't really know what weight I'm gonna be playing with. So we have to learn to be adaptive within the warm up. So we're doing that and obviously we're progressively adding the weight when it goes now to lunges. Again, I don't recommend uh, doing this workout in these sort of trainers. They're not very stable but I've got, I think, soft tissue damage in the bottom of my right foot, so I'm trying to uh, get around that. You might notice that when I'm doing my lunges, my right foot is trying to move and lean because I'm trying to find a position that isn't painful. And also, the kettlebells i got, I've only got a limited number. They're not even on each side, so it actually works your stability a lot more, and it's a lot harder. So this is 24 kilo pull-up, so obviously the last one was a chin-up, now this is the pull-up. This is 24 kilo, so I've doubled the weight now, and it was just a single, again, let my body know what the weight feels like. I'm just prepping the body. This is a 32 kilo kettlebell. I don't have any doubles and I've got them in quite big jumps. Again, I could do with having some more, but I'm just playing around with it. I'm just letting my body know what the weight feels like. And for the kettlebell, I don't know what weight I'm playing with here. So here, I'm just, again, warming up the body, getting it used to the form. I don't do lots of reps in a set to warm up. I'm just doing it. So now I've got a 32 kilo kettlebell and a 2.5 kilo plate. This is my working set weight, but I'm just doing a warm up single. So then when I do go and do my workout set, the weight doesn't feel ridiculously heavy. I'm just prepping the body for it to see how it feels. This is a 32 kilo plate, uh, kettlebell, sorry. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be playing with this today. We're doing sets of three, so it has to be heavy and I really wanna push it, but I don't wanna push it too hard. Again, upping the weight when it comes to the lunges and seeing what weight I wanna be playing with. Again, with the foot, I don't know how to deal with it and what weight to go without making it worse. So you've got to learn to adapt when training because injuries, plateaus, all these things are gonna happen. I do have a 40 kilo kettlebell. I wanted to see how it felt today. Could I be playing with it? It's a huge jump, 32 to 40, when you're doing single arm training, but it didn't feel too bad. It was heavy, it was hard, but I was like, We'll see how it goes. You've got to push yourself sometimes because sometimes you feel stronger than others. And when you're playing in a new area, don't be afraid to adapt and see how it feels. So I've done my warm up set with this weight. Now we're getting into the work sets now. So again, I've got 34 and a half kilos here. I've gone back to the chin up to do my first set. We're doing a set of three here and the weight feels pretty good. I'm trying to pull as hard as I can, really squeeze the upper back, or the back entirety, but also get the arms working as well. 
I'm gonna go for a 40 kilo for this set of three to see how it feels. This is the thing with unilateral work, especially with kettlebell pressing and when you're going above your head, it really hits your core really hard. So it can be really, really challenging. I'm trying to shrug up and get that elevation in the chest as well to really lock uh, in the shoulder blades to really lock it out to try and maximize it. I am stronger in my right arm than my left arm. The left arm didn't feel as good. And obviously the way that I'm holding the kettlebell is wrong and it's kind of spinning around my arm. But again, the more I do it, I can try and work on it and get better. But I still wanted to maintain a good level of strength for my sets of three. Here, I'm doing my, I think it's 60 kilo lunges here. I think it's a 28 in the back. And it's not too bad. You can see with my foot, I'm kind of rotating a little bit like from left to right because I'm trying to find a position that's comfortable. But the mistake I made here is I left the kettlebell behind me a little bit too close and it's kind of disrupted my set a little bit there. But I'm still trying to really focus on driving the legs and really getting them working. And it is quite a challenging thing to lift that weight of one leg, especially when they're uneven. The last, the first set was a chin up. Now we're alternating to the pull up, exact same weight again, 34 and a half kilos, a 32 kilo kettlebell and a 2.5 plate. So as you can see, I'm really trying to pull. I might look like I'm trying to exaggerate a chest, but I'm trying to get my kind of beer chest out of the way and really try and pull as high as I possibly can to really get up way over. And it felt pretty good. The 40 kilo kettlebell felt a bit too heavy without me, with me trying to do it strictly. There was a little bit of push press, so I've dropped it back down to 32 kilos so I can really maximize workout efficiently, but also workout safely. You don't want to do a workout and push yourself too hard and then you injure yourself and you put yourself back. It's, injuries are going to set you back far further than anything you can do. So you've got to be able to adapt it. 32 kilos felt like a better weight today. If I had like maybe a 34 or 36 kilo kettlebell, that probably would have been the right area, but the jump was a bit too high for me. So again, we're going back to the, the lunges. And as you can see, I've taken the shoes off. It's still hurting my foot, but I didn't feel balanced. I didn't feel stable in those trainers. Again, I shouldn't have worn them, but I needed some, I thought I needed something with a little bit of padding, but I'd rather in a way hurt my foot or it'd be uncomfortable than me be unstable and lean too far and hurt my knee or hurt my ankle or, or hurt my back because I'm, I'm doing these lunges. So you've got to learn to adapt throughout this workout and this is what's going on. So we're doing the final set. So at the end of every single set, again, it's a giant set, pull up, press into the lunge, then I rest five minutes. We're alternating back to the chin up to try and finish it off. And again, 34 and a half kilos here. And I'm pretty happy with the weight at the minute. Uh, considering I've not long got back into weighted calisthenics. I kind of got back into it after our conversation with uh, Ryan from Minus Your Gym, and I really wanted to push it and see how far I can go now, and I'm really enjoying it. So at the minute, my right arm pressing is definitely better, uh, but it is quite uncomfortable, but I'm using my other arm there for a little bit of balance. But as you can see, in between every single rep, I'm taking one big, huge breath, and I'm trying to brace. This is really hard on the core to try and keep yourself balanced, especially once you go above your head. So it's a big breath, brace, press, let it out. Big breath, brace, push, give it out. So as you can see, I've now up the weight again. I've got a 40 kilo kettlebell on the left and a 32 kilo. So we've got 72 kilo lunges here. And what I'm really struggling with here is the fact that there's an eight kilo difference between the two. So it does make the, the instability a lot more and a lot more harder. And I'm really trying to fight that. So guys, I hope you found this video so you've seen what sort of workout I'm doing and how I do it. If you want more on weighted calisthenics, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.